to share with us the objective of the next speech. Please welcome DTM, Madam Troan. Thank you very much, uh, Madam Toastmaster of the Day. It's my pleasure to introduce and evaluate uh, Bhushan Rale. Bhushan Rale is uh, doing innovative planning, level four, speech two, manage project successfully. And he will be sharing his experience with us, how he managed his project. Back to you, Madam Toastmaster of the day. Thank you, DTM, Madam Choa. Toastmaster Bushan Rally says that conversations can be elevated through empathy and connections. Ladies and gentlemen, please help me welcome Toastmaster Bushan Rally, get them inspired. Get them inspired, Toastmaster Bushan Rally. Thank you, Madam Toastmaster, fellow Toastmasters, most welcome guests. Events, events, events. There's one happening right now, one next week, one week after, and I really delight attending them. Because apart from regular meetings, they bring in a lot of learning and interest. And today, I'm going to talk to you about two such events that I led. I did such things for my speak earlier, but in today's example, I will draw two events that I led. One was for a club in Burlington, where I had that club as an area director. And second one is another club in Mississauga, which, uh, which I'm being the coach for. And of course, Tinku is well connected with that, so he knows it. So these are the two things I will talk to you about. And today's session, I'll talk to you my experience of running these events as a project. And you know, these, to do and run as a project, there are certain phases to follow. So let me tell you about what I did, what were the steps in running these as a project, and what were our key learnings and key items to be considered when running these events as projects. So what's the key ingredient in, first of all, doing an event is first knowing what you want to do. Meaning, what do you want to conduct the event for? So in the case of my first club, which was in Burlington, the issue was they were losing a lot of members due to COVID, people having job losses, and they were just drawing out away. So they needed help in terms of building skills so that people can take on their own jobs, be their own entrepreneurs. So their objective now for this event is to join guests, to learn the art of communication, to join their club, and turn into entrepreneurs to run their own lives themselves. That was the key vision bred through them. But the club that I coached, or I'm coaching at this time, their vision, they had an open house. They wanted more open house, they had more guests come in, the enthusiasm builds up, and the club becomes stronger, which I feel definitely it would if it continues with the event, great events they did. That. So let me tell you what approach I did. The key to successful leadership today is influence, not authority. That's a quote by Ken Blanchard. If you read the book, One Minute Manager, which Ken Blanchard wrote, he talked about influence and influence comes through inspiring. It's not the question of what you want as a leader, but it's a question of what others want from that. Through inspiration, you create the team motivated. They come together to help you and sustain as you run the project to its completion. So the first step here is to inspire and through the four steps of project management, which I'm going to talk to you about, first is to initiate, then to plan, then to conduct, and then to close. So the initiation is where the vision building happens. That's where you draw out what's the objective of the open house. In my case, the open house objective for the first club was to get members to build their entrepreneurial skills. Second house is to get them, get them more members. 
and the vision statement was developed in consultation with the club members so that their buy-in is important buy-in that's what it is people need to have feel engaged into it then comes the next step which is planning and planning is critical even for the, any event that you hold and for the events that are held in the past it's important to draw timelines and what needs to be done when for my open houses typical planning i did was four weeks before identify what's the vision at least three weeks before get down to knowing and having people do the marketing materials to realize where to or determine where to post them in two weeks before have the full confirmation the agenda the marketing laid out and understand how many people have registered for the event and a week before do a dry run see that people are comfortable doing the event and then lastly when the event is held have people monitor have a fallback plan just in case there are issues so that's the plan but this plan is not done in isolation it is done it was done in consultation with the team we had meetings before the event now plans are good intentions unless they immediately gener degenerate into hard work plans are good intentions unless they immediately degenerate to hard work is what peter drucker says he is a management guru so along with plan comes the hard work but with that with the hard work comes the inspiration from people to do the hard work that's where we had people come in to look at discuss the plans did we have changes during the during the execution or doing the project yeah, of course we had where situations where speakers changed their timelines in one case in another case we had issues about uh, attendees because they're so busy in in their work or sometimes some people had evening work to be done so we couldn't get people for meetings but then we work around them through the inspiration and engagement that we had from them and of course now when the event actually gets delivered what's the most important or most common challenge that clubs have and Tazin just mentioned the last meeting in the last speech and we too had the same challenges changes of speak uh, changes of role players in the last minute so we had some people who came in but couldn't make it because they were stuck in the traffic or got into another meeting and said we attend late but in this case we had all the plans laid out and the support laid out from the rest of the team we had backup people and we had inspired club members who, who were ready to take on those roles so that's how the event went very successfully it resulted in guests coming in we had new members joining the club but lastly the last phase is important in in this project which is closure closure is to understand what did you draw from the event how successful we had was there any learnings to be done as bill gates said it's fine to celebrate success but it's more important to heed to the lessons of what you failed in so it's be noted down what are the key elements we need to do differently what are thought from everyone around and put it together so we could apply them to the next sessions so here in all this was successful why because of the inspiration that was there in the people in the members the team that supported these events so it said that in your actions if your actions inspire others to dream more to learn more to do more and become more then you are a great leader this is what john quincy adams a past president said so please let learn from what i said about projects these are the things that happen and happen in the life of a toastmaster and we can use these skills to make things successful and become better ourselves back to you mr uh, madam toastmaster thank you toastmaster bushan for sharing the different phases and steps and learnings from your events i am sure that all of us have taken notes 